And for those who enjoy this channel and would love to support us financially, please feel free to hit that donate link. We'd greatly appreciate it. God bless. Hey guys, it's Landon. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made any video for Standing for Truth or anything like that, but I do want to keep making videos and discussing topics. I was thinking about different topics I could discuss, and there's a phenomenon, you know, of some mostly theistic evolutionists and at least, you know, some old earth creationists, you know, they advocate this view that the flood was local and that it, you know, wasn't global. I mean, I couldn't believe that that's obviously false, but I mean, for this video, I want to be discussing in detail, you know, why biblically that doesn't make sense. Why biblically it's obvious that it was a global flood. And I mean, this is one of those instances where, you know, these people, they try to take a secular view and the biblical worldview and they try to just smash them together to create this hybrid view, like worldview. And it just doesn't work. I mean, it especially doesn't work when it's just obvious that the flood was global because of the scientific evidence, which you know, is discussed on this channel pretty frequently. And you know, biblically, it just states, you know, it's, it was a global flood. I mean, it's very obvious. But I've listed several questions, you know, that you would have to, I would need to ask people that, you know, think it's a local flood because there's just so many holes in the, you know, in the narrative if it's a local flood. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. For instance, some of the points I want to bring up is, you know, that during the flood, the mountains were covered and, you know, they ended up landing on Mount Aratat. So, I mean, if, that, if it was local, I mean, that's a pretty high flood to be a local flood if it's covering mountains. Also, the ark would be pointless in a global flood scenario. I mean, why would Noah spend so much time building an ark if it was a local flood? You know, why couldn't they just leave the region? And I haven't really got any good answers from on that question from any theistic evolutionists, old earth creationists. But you know, another problem is that you know God promised to never kill all life in a flood again. It just doesn't make sense. I mean. Of course, life has been killed in the flood again. So, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, you know, because obviously if, if God was talking about a local flood, then obviously that would mean God lied because things have died in local floods since then. Um, I mean, it would only make sense in the context of a global flood. There's also the issue of, you know, why were they in the ark for so long if it was just a local flood? And why would Noah need to send out a bird to see if the waters were receding to check? If it was local, why couldn't they just observe the flood from a distance and just go back when it, you know, receded? I mean, there's just so many examples of this. It just doesn't make sense. And, you know, my message for these people, you know, theistic evolutionists, some older creationists, is stop trying to compromise, you know, on the word. You know, if the Bible says that, you know, the earth was flooded, then that's just what it says. You know, I would just say stop trying to merge the secular and biblical views together and try to create this hybrid view. This just doesn't make sense. And I just think that this whole local flood theory just doesn't, won't, won't sustain itself. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that, guys. So thanks for watching. God bless. For all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started.